Well, welcome to Midweek Minute. Great to have you aboard today. And uh, before I really begin this, I want to invite you. As you know, it's Easter Sunday coming up this weekend on Sunday. And I would like to invite you to be in church for this great celebration. This great event, one of the greatest in human history. When we celebrate the resurrection of Christ from the dead. I just want to invite you to be there. And uh, if you don't have a church to go to, you're welcome to come to ours. Our service starts at 11 o'clock. And as you go, why not invite someone else to go with you? It's such a moment. It's such an important moment. I'd just like to rehearse it just a, quickly today for you. I know you know that Jesus Christ died on the cross and uh, they put him in the tomb. And uh, they had, of course, wrapped him in linen cloths and some spices and so forth. But because of the quickness of it, they didn't get the job quite done. And so the women on that first Easter Sunday morning were going back to the tomb with their spices to further prepare the body of Jesus. Now they were going there expecting a dead body, not a missing body. But when they got to the tomb, they discovered that the stone which they were concerned about had been rolled away. And... Uh, they, they looked inside and they saw an angel. And here's what the angel said to him, reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 24. He says this in verse number 5, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Remember how he spoke to you in Galilee, that on the third day he would rise from the dead. And that's exactly what happened. Jesus rose from the dead, that miraculous event on Easter morning. And this is such an important thing. Yes, it was important that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but it was even more important that he was raised from the dead. Paul said it this way in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He said that if Christ is not risen from the dead, our faith is vain and we are still in our sin. But he is risen from the dead. That was Paul's statement, and that is so true. Because he is risen from the dead, because he lives, we can live also. So I trust that you've accepted personally the risen Christ so that you can have that resurrection life in you. God bless you, and happy Easter.